Hi, I'm Achilil. Today I'm going to show you how to create your automation script to test your website. If you are a manual tester who never do a programming language before or you are someone who don't know any programming language but you still want to create your automation script to test your website, this video is created for you. Let me show you how to do this. Before we start, let me introduce you to a robot framework. A robot framework is a framework to automate your website. It's very easy and simple for someone who don't know any programming language. You can start with it easily. So, robot framework is based on Python programming. But no, no, no worry, no worry. You don't need to understand any Python. You can just use it. But no doubt, you need to install the Python first before you can use the robot framework. Let me show you how to do this. To install the Python first, you need to enter this website, python.org. This is the official website for Python. When you land to this website, you go to download here, click quick, and then the website will automatically take your operating system. In my case, it's Mac OS, but in case you are not to a window or you are Linux, just click there. Okay, in my case, in Mac OS, so I click download here. The installation uh, detail will be different between each OS, so I will skip, but it's not super complex, so I believe you can do that. I can skip for make it short here. After you install Python, you need to open the terminal just to make sure you install it correctly by type Python 3 space dash dash version. This command will show you the Python version you install, if it shows 3.82 or it shows the version you install is good. After that, you need to install Robot Framework by type pip, which is the package installation for Python. Install Robot Framework dash Selenium library. This command will download the Selenium library for you together with the Robot Framework. And hopefully, it will not take time, so we will not pause the video. Okay, uh, okay, it's finished. That's it. The next step is to download Chrome driver. Chrome driver is a software to control Chrome web browser. So you need to enter this website, chromedriver.chromium.org. This website is a bit slow. So okay, it here it's come. So the, this is very important. You need to download exact version of the driver to map your Chrome. In this case, it shows 83 and 81. Let me check uh, what is my Chrome browser version here. If I click this three dot, and then go to help, and then about Google Chrome. Okay, this process will take a bit time uh, because my machine is a bit slow. Let me show you here. It's coming. It's coming. Okay, come on, guys. Okay, here it's come. Okay, my version is 81 here. Okay, so I need to close down before it's automatic update and then we have some problem. Okay, now I download version 81. Okay, it lent me to this website. Okay, I need to download the Mac OS. In my case, it's uh, Mac OS. So I click here, it's downloading. Okay, and boom, it's there. Okay, after you download Chrome driver, it will be here in the download folder. Let me create a new folder here to keep the everything in this project. Okay, it will not a good practice to have everything in the download folder, but this is just for the simplicity. Okay, okay. Now I will open the text editor. My favorite, my favorite text editor is Sublime, but in your case can be any. Okay, open. Let me save the file first uh, to that folder. And then name the file uh, demo one dot uh, robot. Okay, click save. Okay, now I need to have the area to tell the framework that this is the library I'm going to use. Okay, you can use this keyword. Remember, you have to have a uh, exact space and wording here, unless it will not be run. Okay, come to the library. To use library selenium uh, oh too small let me make it bigger for you so you can see it okay start with the word library to space here selenium 
library okay to tell the framework that this is the framework we're going to use with two space here don't forget okay now to area to define the test case with this keyword remember to you, you need to have exact space and now it's time to define the test case name demo uh, open and close browser using robot framework okay now the first step the first command with two space open browsers with another two space here Web. No, 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 HTTPS colon slash slash web dot google dot com slash a space space from with the driver with the browser from okay. Remember to have the exact space here between open and browser is one, the rest is two. If you have two space, just to make sure it a uh, separate keyword here. Okay, it's time to try and run our test. Open the terminal again. Go to that directory. Okay, let me check where is it. Okay, now we have the demo one dot robot and from web driver. Ah, I forgot to export the part here. Let me export the part to the part that we have the from driver install, which is the current directory. Okay, now I think we can run it here because everything is ready. We can run the robot driver using the command robot slash space followed by the file name okay it's running and okay the browser is open go open the google chrome with okay google.com okay it seems correct so now the script is one hit pass but the script does not close the browser because I need to open it close it here close browser save and run again now our test will close the browser automatically okay okay it's running now it needs to cross okay automatically everything passed okay now it's time to sh okay one pass okay now it's time to show you the report file in this directory Okay. Now, if it's green, that means it, everything passed. Let me go to all test case. We have only one here. Okay. For this, okay, it's passed. Okay, open and close. It's very simple. No assertion. Okay. Okay, now it's time to show you the test case to write the example here. The first step is to browse and land to youtube.com. The second step is to search my name in the search panel, which is Washington Ferry. The third step is to click search button and the fourth step to assert whether my channel is there or not. Okay. Okay, let me click doing that. Okay, let me go back to the subline. Have another test case name, another demo. Open the browser, the same command with two space https colon slash slash www.youtube.com. Okay, open with Google Chrome. Okay, as good practice, we need to close the browser at the end of the step. Okay, now we need to wait until the element is enabled. So we can interact with just make sure the page is loaded. Two space here and what is the element? Okay, go to this one, right click, go to the inspect. Okay, with this command the Google Chrome will show exactly what sh where should be it. Okay, just copy, copy X part. X part is a code to select the browse uh, the element. Okay, you see this X part is not good enough. Okay. Let me see it again. Okay, it's W input. Okay, let's change star, which can be anything to input. Okay, now it's one out of one. It sounds like this is a good part. Okay, copy this, paste it in the code here, and then we need to enter the text. 
using keyword input x space to space with this x part and to space together with what text we enter which is my name okay and then we need to click element this element okay okay the same mechanism let's try to copy the x part and search Okay, one of one of one. Okay, it seems uh already good X part already. Don't need to modify. Okay, click element to space together with this X part. Okay, now let's try to run this. Okay, uh, robot and followed by the test uh the head by name. Okay, if you run the first test case, which can which is opening and close the browser. Okay, now it's done. Okay, now our test case is coming. Okay, enter youtube.com, wait until it load, and then enter the text. Oh, 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 wait. Okay, it's too fast. Okay, let me remove the cross browser just to see where uh, whether it's good or not. Okay. Okay. From the first test again, which is open and close, do nothing and pass. Okay, another demo. Open YouTube.com. Wait until it load. Okay, enter my name and search. Okay, now it seems like it's a good step already. Okay, let me continue. Okay. Okay, the next step uh, after load that page, I need to wait until the element is visible okay oh but i already closed the browser so i don't have any where to get the element let me run the test again okay okay it finished okay now i have something to check okay use the same mechanism click here to locate the element go to subscribe button okay, which is here okay I got the button already well, this is the button but uh, I think I need the text inside the button not the button itself okay okay here is the text okay now use the same mechanism uh, to copy the egg part. Okay, try to command F to search. Okay, wow, fifty-five. Okay, maybe it's not a good egg part here. Let me apply the same pat pattern. Replace the star with the element type. Yt format that string. Okay, it doesn't help. Maybe we need to try with some another approach. Okay, remove this. Let me locate something in higher level. Okay, with this panel. Okay. Okay, this panel is div div, which is the ID equal to content. Now we have five. Okay, even this. Okay, okay, yes, this. Okay, photo is parent. Okay. So, okay, scrolling to. Okay, let's have this. Okay, div which id equal to container. Okay, to tell that we need to have this parent somewhere. Div with id equal to container. Okay, now we have two. Okay, a bit better. Okay, I think it's enough to build down. Okay, with the same one. Okay. Yt formatted string. Okay. 
Okay. Still a lot. Hmm. Okay. Ah, that, that, that's why there is a lot. Real a lot. Okay, but I think it's only one that appearing together with the button. Let me scroll up to its parent. Okay. Okay, it's very right there. Paper button. Okay. So this element need to have the parent with five paper button. Okay. Paper search here. Paper dash button. Ah. Okay. Now it's only one. Okay. Now I think this is a good X path. Okay. Wait until this element appearing or use this keyword. Wait until element is visible. Okay. Wow, well, it's a long X part here. Okay, after this element is visible, now we need to get the value of this element by name the value name the variable. This name can be anything. Okay. And with this keyword, get element to space uh no get element attribute. To space with the x path to space here and the inner text just to get the text value here. Okay, now we get the value to this parameter, and this parameter should be equal to space with the parameter name, button name, to space here, and the word subscribe. This command just to make sure this value equal to the word subscribe okay let's run this okay the first test case just open and close the browser okay done okay now it's time to come to our test case okay it's running loading google.com or uh, youtube.com searching for my name okay look at this element it should be equal to subscribe okay it's passed already okay now let me show you how to make it fail okay let's change this with to subscribe with the okay for this it will fail for sure let's see how it look like when it fail okay the same first one open and close okay now our test is here Okay, it's loading. Search for my name, and then I think it's already failed. Okay, it's failed already. Okay, subscribe is not equal to subscribe with the D. Okay, now you see, we see the test report here. Okay, one test fail, two total two, one pass, one fail. Let's go to audit test. The first test part. Okay. Another demo is fail. Okay, it fail because of this reason. Okay, this step, this step, this step. Ah, it failed at this step. To be equal. Okay, and with the time, start and end. Okay, you can see the detail of uh, another step there. Just to make sure you can have anywhere to debug. And if it fail at the step that you open the website. If we have the screenshot for you, okay, but in my case, it's not there, okay. That's it. That is how easy you write the automate to test your website using robot framework. Comment down there if you think you have some another better approach, or you don't understand any step, or you have any recommendation, you like or don't like this video. And don't forget to click subscribe and hit the bell there. Just to make sure you won't miss the incoming video. So, until next video, see you next time. Bye bye.